Move on to other matters, and uh, there's a big story about uh, funding for counties. But before that, I want us to look at what happened at the County Assembly of Nairobi with this impeachment of uh, Beatrice Selachi. Uh, quickly, and we look at the general uh, behavior of members of county assemblies across board. Uh, because uh, in the previous uh, parliament, uh, in the last regime, uh, in as far as parliamentary uh, terms are concerned, uh, we saw quite a number of MCAs accused of going rogue. We talk about issues like Makueni, uh, other counties where there were fights inside the assembly. Uh, the repeated attempts to impeach Governor Wambora in Embu, uh, all these things. Now, are we seeing the same kind of behavior uh, continuing now? And is it something that uh, will continue in as far as, uh, is it the expectation? Because members of the county assembly probably hold themselves to that level, that this is how we do it. We can actually walk into an office and eject someone. Uh, physically. Uh, do you think it's purely bad behavior? I think it's very bad because you know, Beatrice Elachi is a former senator of this republic. She, uh, by consensus, was unanimously elected as um, the first woman, uh, I think, speaker, uh, speaker of, of the Nairobi County. Very competent individual. Uh, when she was being impeached, we were with her in uh, Malindi for a conference on ISOL areas you know, focusing on, and Nairobi is, 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 is it was, I mean, we were just sharing experiences. And uh, she had given consent to a special sitting to discuss other matters other than her own impeachment. The accusations uh, by the MCAs in Nairobi County were about trips. Now she has a bill of 66 million. She doesn't know where to get the money from because people have traveled and they're expecting to be paid back. The other accusations are the fact that he invited the ESCC to come and investigate corruption allegations, mm -hmm. which is what you should do if there are issues to be, to be, to be, to be, to be looked at. The other thing is that she calls uh, uh, MCS conjurers, you know. I spoke to a, a speaker, a current speaker of another county, and he really surprised me by telling me that uh, even if you have a master's or a PhD, when MCAs become MCAs, they behave in a similar manner. Recently, we were with Senator Kangata trying to resolve uh, the matter of Moranga County. Mm -hmm. So it's county after county. I don't know what is wrong with our MCAs in terms of the caliber and the quality and the culture, because we thought that we had done away with so the former so councillors. It, it is not uh, uh, just exclusive to Nairobi. It is something that is rampant, that, that kind of behavior across all counties, or at least a majority of them. Yes, it is, it is fairly common. Uh, a good num uh, number of governors will tell you that they are under the threat of these uh, MCAs. <laughs> Remember uh, Governor Kibuta Kibwana, who currently is one of the best governors mm -hmm. in this country. Mm -hmm. He had even to be impeached as a president who refused. Today he is a model uh, governor. Mm -hmm. You know, so, so uh, um, uh, like Ipia, uh, um, Derito is also complaining about the same. You can mention across board, from across the political divide, that really what we need to ask ourselves, what is it that, uh, um, is it the demands of the people on the ground that makes MCAs to want more money? Because from what I'm hearing is that when you do your mortgage and then you do your car loan, then you have no money. Mm -hmm. So people are trying to find ways. And the, the easiest is trips. So, you know, speakers are being, you know, blackmailed. Give me this trip so that I can have some money. So it is something that is wrong with our system. There is a systemic challenge that we need to address over and above the quality and the caliber of people who get elected. And why do I say so as, 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 I, as I finish on this topic? Mm -hmm. Kiambu County, the last election, uh, Fred, only one MCA came, uh, came back out of 60 elected MCAs. Mm -hmm. Do you want to tell me that all the 59 MCAs were wrong? Mm -hmm. We must ask ourselves that question. When okay. we talk about uh, also the demands of, of, of people on the ground, now we are hearing that governors are also colluding with MCAs. They are giving them projects uh, to implement. Yesterday, somebody was awarded administrator. Just to somebody. be in their good books. Exactly. Yeah, yes. can be allowed to perform. I was in a forum where <laughs> MCAs were, 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 were saying, we want each and every governor to give us, each and every, whether nominated or elected, Two, two, two kilometers of road for, for you to construct. Mm -hmm. But uh, d d is it because we've given uh, the county assemblies a bit too much power that they are able to actually uh, halt or, uh, operations of even a county government, that now governors have been held at transom and now have to work with the MCAs, uh, in even uh, handing out gifts? Because now you're seeing here, and there's an accusation here, whether or not it is true, that uh, uh, MCAs uh, from Nairobi have left for Mombasa for a four-day trip. <laughs> 
uh, whose agenda is not really known, but uh, some suggest that it's for the good, uh, the good a job. job, a job well done, a job uh, well done. By, by impeaching the speaker. <laughs> yeah, well, I think there are, there are a couple of, 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 of issues um, around our, our counties. First of all, this is a new uh, system. Uh, we started it the last five years. We are now in the next uh, five years. I think just the fact that the systems have not developed enough within our county, county assemblies, and even county executives, I think that is a factor in the blackmail. Because in the National Assembly, however broke you are, there's no way you're ever going to go to the speaker and tell him, mm -hmm. you must give me a trip or this will happen. Mm -hmm. You just look, or in the Senate, mm -hmm. I'm sure. Mm -hmm. there's, however broke you are, you cannot do that because there is a system mm -hmm. that has developed over the years. We are now on the 12th parliament, parliament, parliament. you know? Mm -hmm. So this are, I, the, the sum of it is two things problems, you know, just so that systems can develop well enough, so that people know what are you entitled to, what are you not entitled to within the law. Mm -hmm. Secondly, I think the Senate must look critically. We had this, we had this debate in the, in the last parliament around the threshold for some of these impeachments. Mm -hmm. Impeachment of the governor. Governors complained and said, okay, the threshold is, the threshold, especially as concerns the grounds, is probably too Law oh, yeah. and 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 the Senate was very good at that because they sent back a number of impeachments. Yeah. The last the time they said no, 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 the grounds just mm -hmm. don't. Mm -hmm. And you know that as far as governors are concerned, they know that at least they ha there is the Senate where if they explain their case, they can actually get. But the Senate it's should really be looking at how what is this threshold for impeachment. Secondly, the one for the speaker. Mm -hmm. These are the. This is the the the, the prosecutor. They are the judge. They finally do. I mean, your matter is concluded at that point. <laughs> if MCS, you know, like the Nairobians, if they, so long as they have built consensus among themselves, you know, mm. and said we are removing her for whatever reason, they will remove you because you have no other stop. There is no other place to go except maybe if you go to court, mm. in which they say, oh, you know, court. Why is court? But mm. if there was a process through which, if once the MCS make their view then you can go maybe to the Senate again. Mm -hmm. and, and, I, and I see that, you know, MCS say, oh, we are the ones who elect you, we can remove you. Even us, we are elected by the people. Mm -hmm. But the threshold for yeah. removing you is a bit high, mm -hmm. so that you can also be able to deliver. Mm -hmm. Because if, if the threshold was just that if your opponents feel they can remove you with 2,000 or 3,000 signatures, people would be collecting signatures and removing and returning, removing yes. and returning. And so we must deal, Senate must deal with the issue of threshold. Then coming back to the issue the Senate Maura was raising around the pressures that our all of us as elected leaders uh, face. Yes. I think it is very, very important that um, our to, for for the system to understand that the way our people are wired right now is that if you're an elected leader, you must bring something. In fact, it doesn't matter even if you're a senator. They'll yes. just ask you, why did we elect you if we don't have water, yes. if we don't have this, if we, we don't, don't have, have the other? Water. You know, they don't, they don't care that they elected you to which position. Mm -hmm. So we must think about if an MP elected is able to go back and say, okay, we have these schools that are happening under the national government CDF, even if I don't sit there, at least I am able to influence which projects can mm. go where. As a woman representative, the National Government Affirmative Action Fund, we must think through the issue of also what development mm. funds and the oversight fund mm. for the senators. You know, so that everybody is able to, 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 to be relevant yes. in the positions to which they are elected. If right now you're an MCA and you have to depend on the favors from the governor mm. to be able to do anything, how? So you end so, up blackmailing him. So you, are, so you end up blackmailing him, yes. you know, fighting him, but looking for think, all manner of ways to remain relevant. We're just encouraging <laughs> raw game CS across the country, and that would affect even the intention of, uh, it would defeat even the intention of devolution if we have uh, rogue uh, assemblies. I, I agree with you. I don't know. I've always argued that uh, we need still to build capacity of our MCS. Number one. Number two is that. Uh, I think there is a big challenge and uh, many people, especially most of us, do not look at the, the spirit of Article 174. If you worked anywhere across constituencies, within one year you can see what CDF has done. Mm -hmm. But when you work across, you can never even tie any single project of county government that has done.
I want to say that uh, and as, as, as the chair of JLAC, we are trying, we were discussing in the committee, that we need to look at the threshold, as uh, Mwishmua Wanga said, on, on the impeachment of the speaker. As we talk now, even in the Senate, is the second reading, the impeachment procedure bill on how the impeachment process should be done for the president, deputy president, governor, cabinet secretaries, county executives, and the speakers. So we are trying in any case to ensure that Does we that have... include even the uh, speakers of county assemblies? Yes. Okay. So we want to, uh, to ensure that the threshold, as both uh, my colleagues have said, is quite high so that people do not wake up one day and decide to blackmail the speaker or anybody else and they just want to... They want to in fact, it is against the principles of natural justice, mm -hmm. where you are the judge, you are the prosecutor, you are the executor. It is very unfair, and that is, and I think the reason that the court has declined to approve the impeachment of Sen uh, Speaker <coughs> Naji is because it has gone against the principles of even natural justice. Mm -hmm. So as a Senate, I think this is the right time, and I saw my, most of my colleagues are of the view that we need to ensure that we make the threshold of impeaching a county assembly speaker quite high, even as, 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 as Moshmo Wanga said, even in, in removing ourselves or even recall clause. The threshold under the Constitution is very high, and therefore we must review and agree. But I want to challenge the MCS that it, they are the ones who will ensure that they bring uh, down devolution if the rank goes to go by. And I think the Senate before, I said even the, in the case of Governor uh, Paul Jepkwanya and many others that were there in the previous Senate, at least they have been on the high threshold that they have ensured that any flimsy crowns cannot be removed for the, for, for, the, for the governors. And therefore, even I know this impeachment procedure bill has brought a lot of, we were arguing with the Council of Governors, and they have not been comfortable. But I want to tell them, we are trying as a Senate to ensure that we, we bring a legal framework of impeachment procedure within the setting of the Constitution, so that in future, somebody cannot just wake up because they don't like how your nose look like or how you <laughs> smile. They can decide just and to you impeach you. The threshold, <laughs> or you deny them a trip, or you are flying, maybe you have special needs. And therefore, mm. we, we need to agree. And I think MCA should get out of this issue of being petty. Mm. I know there are many pressures. And finally, I think there is a bill, what development a fund bill that is proposed by Senator Irungo we should also agree because the argument was a thin line between the oversight and uh, having funds who will oversight the MCS and whatever. Mm -hmm. So those are some of the things we can agree. But I know MCS feel a lot of pressure for financial needs. All of us leaders, uh, uh, need, uh, all of us, everybody demands. Any, any, uh, so long as you are elected, so long as you hold the title Mwishmua, it does not come cheaply, it comes expensively. So I think all of us, we must agree that the MCS face the challenge, but they must also outgrow some of these petty issues that there is. I wish they could finally, I wish they would have impeached Senator uh, Speaker, Senator Speaker Elagi on the issues that are factual, but on the issues that uh, I saw one MCS says uh, she doesn't like me because I come from why exact the tribe. That is very uh, unfortunate yes. statement. Yes. Well, there have been unsubstantiated reports that the county legislators will be meeting Governor Mike Sonko after a job well done. That's according to the Daily. <laughs> the governor's office has denied uh, that allegation as MCS leave for Mombasa for a four-day retreat whose agenda uh, we yeah, still you know. You ca the away. governor can't <laughs> quite deny that uh, too much because the assembly we know is in limbo at the moment. You yes. know, with all this uh, wrangling. And, and, and so who is, this, who is this? Who uh, is this? Who is putting the MCS together and taking them on a trip. Usually, a trip, the yeah. head of the institution is the speaker. Yes. The, the, in terms of organization, of yes. you know, all this, whether it is, you know, if they're going to Mombasa, they're probably going for a workshop or yes. whatever it is. Why so quickly? Mm. So the governor must also, you wow. know, come it's, out it's, clear it's, on it's this. Not and you know, it's, it's not by coincidence. It's not coincidence. Because it's, also, it's Gwele, backdrop. Gwele the clerk, was also removed. Mm -hmm. yes. So it could also be a fight back yes. from this clerk of the... Of the, of the, the wow. of and you know it's coming against the backdrop where also uh, Senator Mike, uh, Governor Bovi Sonko has said uh, that there could be an impeachment motion being prepared against, 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 mm. against by the same, MCS. By the same MCS that did remove... And also uh, wow. uh, coming Speaker in mind Elagi. the fact that somebody has petitioned the Senate to uh, for, for President to dissolve the uh, Sonko's government. Yeah, and I think Chairman yeah. of Muturwa Association mm. that mm. They, because they, they, the, the Nairobi city county has failed to discharge to uh, necessary mm. services to the, to the people. So Sonko is directly involved there? Definitely quite a lot <laughs> happening <laughs> around the management <laughs> of Nairobi. Uh, the county assembly uh, impeached uh, Speaker Beatrice Alachi. That matter is still pending because the court uh, uh, has suspended it. Uh,
But the MCS in the meantime have uh, off to Mombasa for a four-day retreat, so at least they'll be calm at the city, at City Hall uh, until they return.